This will be the saddest Mother's Day of my life because today is the first Mother's Day in my 49 years on this earth where I no longer can send a card to my mom or tell my mom how much I love her. Now, this video was very emotional, writing out the script and getting it ready, so I hope I can do this without too many tears, but I wanna send a message to everyone out there how important it is to love your mom. 49 years ago, my mom picked me out of all the other babies to adopt. She picked me to be her son. She loved me and raised me as her own. I never felt like I was adopted or less than my other siblings. On Thursday morning, April 18th, 2019, I received a phone call at 3.30 a.m. from my baby sister. You know, that phone call that you never imagined happening to you. I couldn't believe what I heard and I kept saying, no, 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 what do you mean past? My sister had to tell me that mom had died in a hospital in the early morning hours. Only four days before, my wife and I had gone to visit her in the hospital where my father had taken her because of extreme abdominal pain. Little did we know that this would be the last time we saw her alive. I remember her laying in the hospital bed. Her face grimaced in pain. I told her I loved her and my wife offered to rub her feet, but she was in so much pain she could hardly utter a word. I mentioned something uh, about being there to see my sisters as well and she began to weep, telling me that my daughter needed to come home and needed to be with her mom and dad. You see, my daughter needed intervention about a year ago to save her life and has been at a faith-based teen girl program called 180 Ministry for Teen Girls where they empower young teen girls to grow spiritually and rescue them from a path that they are going down so that they can thrive in life. So my mom, even in the depths of her pain, could only think of her kids and grandkids. We finally had to leave uh, because she had her pain meds and she told us she loved us as we kissed her and said goodbye so she could get some rest. Mom was a fighter, but we had no idea that in a few days she would be gone. This was just another challenge that would soon be over and she'd be out of the hospital and back to life as usual. She had recently undergone hip surgery and was just telling everyone about all of her travel plans to visit grandkids and extended family. Then, two weeks later, in a memorial service celebrating her life and legacy with over 200 people whom she had touched in some way, here I was walking down the church aisle as a pallbearer carrying her casket that held her lifeless body. Fighting back the tears, all I could think about was how much I would miss my mom and how much love my daughter, just one of nine grandkids, would miss out on with her passing. There would be no more dancing, no more gifts, no more silly grandma jokes, and no more hugs that only a mother can give. If you still have your mother here on earth, then tell your mom how much you love her. Let her know just how much she means to you. Sometimes we focus so much on our own lives and fighting for that life of success that we forget what's important until something happens that truly gives life meaning. Life is precious and anyone can be taken away so quickly. So on this Mother's Day, remember, it's not about what's in your pocket or your driveway. It's not about what your coworkers think of your new cool watch or your partner thinks of your new investments, but rather it's the love that's in your heart. I heard someone say once that love is a word until someone comes along and gives it meaning. Well, my mom did that for me. But don't wait until your mom is gone to show her how much love you have in your heart for her. Love your mother before it's too late. And for all you mothers out there, happy Mother's Day for 2019. Mom, we miss you and we love you, but we know you're in a better place. See how she moves her hips? It's all in the hips. <laughs> Move your hips. She's doing the dab. <laughs> <laughs> and the twist at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> do the dab and the twist. <laughs> it's bringing the old school to the new school. There you go. Right? <laughs>